Where are we? This is old Atlantis. Yes, fool! But it's about to become the place where Kronos takes his first steps outside of Tartarus. Look, Gaia is here. That's how we stop this. We must invoke Gaia's seed god power to the sacred pools of the outer islands. The Orano sky passage has collapsed. Expect our reinforcements to come by sea. All right, folks, I have the silliest of tactics for this mission. And it really is the silliest of tactics. It shouldn't work. It really shouldn't, but it does. So I'm going to showcase that for you today. We need to be ready to defend the sacred plants that will grow after we invoke the Gaia God powers. Gaia has been restoring and preparing this ruined land for our arrival. It will be impossible for anyone to build walls anywhere on these sunken lands. Okay. All right, so we're just going to cap these first, and then I'll uh, I'll showcase the cheekiness of this strat. Reinforcements have landed. Food is the thing we need the most at the moment. To be fair, you can do this strat in any order. I just, just purely from a saving time perspective, I'm doing the seeds first. The but you begin to summon the titan of the earth, Gaia. But you can do the next part first if you prefer. Take care of this army first. Nap that. Look, 
Why they decided to give us implosion straight off the bat, I don't know. But uh, I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, it's seriously dumb. More reinforcements from Egypt have arrived. And yeah, that's that's basically the threat. You just kill Red. <laughs> and then at five minutes you just defend whatever's left. Essentially, they'll just. Uh, there's, there's no way of actually killing Kronos. I have tried. Um, essentially, you just got to uh, wait him out. But you can basically just pretty much rush to kill Red. Um, actually, stop some of their early attacks as well. Um, the downside is you've then got to start the 10 minute timer pretty much after they're dead for the most part, kind of. Uh, unless you start splitting your forces. Which is just complicated and unnecessary in my opinion. Like you'll have plenty of troops to take down red by 5 minutes. And 5 minutes is when Mate Boy spawns. Summoning the flowers just as a bit of a um, uh, tank, essentially. Damage buffer, if you will. But yeah, that's my cheeky cheeky for this particular mission. Red is dead. Obviously, Matey Boy is going to spawn when uh, there's five minutes left to be summoned, but... How can't I nab him? Eh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much all she wrote, really. Just got to wait wait out the timer. Slow matey boy down. Actually, you don't even have to slow him down, to be honest. He can't possibly get to all four uh, locations in time. I take down the walls so it's easier for me to rotate. Greece has sent reinforcements to help us. About time. Ah, uh, hell, Jimmy. It's about damn time. We smash him. Kronos is the conqueror before all lesser gods. Kronos walks the earth. Longboats with Norse reinforcements have landed. For literally five minutes, he's walked the earth, yes. <laughs> Pop that there so it's in his way. Kronos is advancing! 
Only Gaia will be able to defeat Kronos. Wow, she's proper stuck, huh? Can't even jump. Wow. Okay. So what we can do is we can stand by the pit. This is just a bit of a silly tactic, but everything spawns from the pit. So we can spawn here. Just spawn camp them. And they can't actually go into all the other locations and stop us. And this guy's far too slow to destroy four um, things in time. Most he can do is three within five minutes. Your trees will burn well in the fires of Tartarus! We must keep at least one Gaia tree alive. Gaia must be summoned to fight Kronos. She jumped even further into the pit, lol. <laughs> Has fallen. To be fair, fighting them there actually is a bit of a challenge in the sense that we can't. Um, need a lot of our troops for melee, so. This just slows him down immeasurably. He's not very good at taking down plants. And without his troops to support him. Yeah. Wish you could just uh, <laughs> control him, that'd be quite funny. Yeah, this is very much the easy there are mode. Only two for this Gaia mission. left. We must not let them fall. Losing this army actually doesn't matter because Gaia is a one one lady wrecking ball. Literally. Path just to annoy him. Yeah, he's barely able to kill three in time. And there's no way he gets to our base <laughs> in that time frame. Uji? Then Gaia comes and gives this guy a big old slap. Back to Sartorus. <laughs> Gaia has been summoned. Kronos will fall. It's about time we had a Titan on our side. Wow, a thousand damage! Holy shit, that's mad. I care not for your gate, sir. Oh, 
6,000 damage per hit. Woof. He does like a couple of hundred to me. <laughs> oh, it's so funny just how much stronger Gaia is than Kronos. And that is all she wrote. GG's, folks. GG's. Cheeky little conclusion to the campaign. Krios is trying to escape. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> that is over. Part of it is over, Castor. The Atlanteans are without a leader now. They will need someone to look out for them to help them rebuild. The Staff of Atlantis. All hail the son of Arkantos. Honor to Castor. Do well. Goodbye, my friends. I will see you all soon. Until then, know that I am still at your side. Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get to work. Well, that will right about do it for this series, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video and indeed the series. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. There are more videos to follow with Age of Mythology. There is one myth battle and the... Um, the Golden Gift campaign as well. So again, those will follow. Thanks again for tuning in and I shall see you in the next video.